Hello, my friends. I'm Dr. Janet Rourke, your essential oil vet, and I'm here. It's Sunday, uh, March 24th, and it is Palm Sunday. So happy Palm Sun Sunday, everyone who celebrates that. And I am here doing my normal Q&A. Next week, we won't have one because it's Easter. A lot of people celebrating Easter, myself included. So um, we are going to be not having a live then. Uh, but if you are hopping on live, I would love to know one, my internet's been really weird. So let me know if you can, <laughs> you can see me, hear me. Okay. That it's not all pixelated and weird. And two, if you have any questions, pop them in the chat, um, pop them in the chat. We didn't get too many questions today. So I'll just go ahead and go through some of those. And if it's a short session, it's a short session. That's okay too. Um, I hope you guys are having a really wonderful day. We are fixing to get some rain here in Texas, so I'm not looking forward to that, but it is part of the springtime. Everything is beautiful and green here. You know, some of you got some snow this week. All right. We have a couple of questions. We'll go ahead and get started on those. A couple of people actually asked about musculoskeletal support, specifically to cruciate ligament tears in their dogs, larger dogs. So um, Heidi's asking for her daughter's golden retriever, has a cruciate ligament tear, and is wondering what oils would be helpful to support healing. Surgery is not required as of now. So surgery um, is sometimes required if it's a complete tear of that ligament. If it is not a complete tear of that ligament, a lot of times we can help our dogs recover. It takes time and rest, just like a human ligament injury. We have to rest these animals and they don't always know how to rest. So that means you have to be a little bit strict in cage rest or keeping them on a leash at all times, no jumping, no stairs. And these guys do really, really well with a knee brace. Actually, you can actually get a little brace for their legs. There's some really excellent ones out there that will kind of keep everything in place and not moving around too much. If we can keep it in place and nice and tight. That ligament can heal on its own if it is not a complete tear. So that is something to keep in mind. So that's what's going on with Heidi's daughter's dog. So she's wondering what we can support her with as far as oils. I would recommend doing our, um, our, uh, you can use Aroma Touch topically, frankincense, copaiba, turmeric internally. With a big dog like that, you can do the copaiba soft gels, the turmeric duo soft gels, and the deep blue polyphenol complex capsules. One of them or all of them. Okay, kind of depending on how sore he is that particular day. Um, so that is one to keep in mind. Those are really great options. For smaller dogs, you can just use the oils, but for a bigger dog like that, you can use those and just watch for loose stools. So, uh, but be sure to get that brace. Restricting activity is absolutely critical. Don't be like, oh, well, we're just going to go for a short one mile walk instead of a five mile walk like we normally do. That is too much. That is too much activity for that ligament to heal. It takes time for that to heal. Um, so lots of things you can do topically. Those, um, those soothing oils for the musculoskeletal system and internally you can use some of those as well. So lots of good options there for that, that situation. Judy Larson is planning to switch her dogs to an all raw diet starting on Friday. Congratulations. Um, any suggestions on how to help the transition and then anything I should add to the 80, 10, 10 mix they have. So the 80, 10, 10 is most likely protein, um, organ meat and bone. Okay. So that's usually the way that that is set up, um, which is a good, that's actually a really good kind of amount. You can add a little extra organ meat. As far as toppers though, I would add in some fruits and veggies and a little bit of fiber, um, can really, really help these guys as opposed to a meat only. So dogs can do really well with some fruits and veggies, green veggies, like kale, broccoli, green beans, um, spinach, very high in nutrients and excellent for dogs. And you can also do berries that are high in antioxidants like blueberries. Um, you can add a little bit of pumpkin. You can add a little bit of sweet potato, but not a lot. I don't like a ton of sweet potato or pumpkin. Just a little bit can really help with the fiber situation. 
whole food feeding your dogs is a great way to keep them healthy. As far as the transition goes, you want to transition very slowly. If they're used to being on a kibble or even a wet food, this is a big transition going to raw. Big transitions take time and a lot of mixing of what you already have. So you don't want to go on Friday, we got our raw food, so we're going to just only feed raw. You have to transition slowly. So I recommend doing it over the course of a month, four weeks, where the first week you're doing three quarters of the old food and one quarter of the new food. The next week, if they're doing good and their spools are back to normal, then you can do half and half. You might want to take a little longer to do that if they're transitioning not so well, if their tummy isn't handling it well. And then the next week, go three quarters of the new food and one quarter of the old food. And then the last week, you can go all new food. Adding in probiotics is really going to help. Adding in a multivitamin is going to be really critical. Um, I really like the new vet vitamins from new vet. I posted the link in the uh, description here, but the link here is nuvet.com. It'll ask you for a code. Use 27702 for your code. And you can also get a great joint supplement there too, as well. So Heidi, for your dog, your daughter's dog with a cruciate and anybody else with joint problems, new vet has a really good joint supplement that is a combination of glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM, and vitamin C. It's super clean. It's super awesome. It is one of my favorites. And that is new joint DS is the one I like for that. And so that cruciate, that's a joint issue. That dog's going to have joint issues probably the rest of his life. Um, if you don't take care of it and the glucosamine chondroitin is very preventative in addition to um, soothing to the joint as well. Okay. Uh, so ho hopefully that'll help you, Judy. Uh, Michelle says, missed the live last week, but she was um, coming up on the time of year when we like to go on trails, walks, and hikes. And was wondering if there's a first aid kit you recommend in preparing to take with us. And actually, I have a free guide for you guys with a first aid kit on it. It's a first aid checklist for you. So if you go to essentialoilvet.com slash first dash aid, you will actually be able to download that free gift for, for, for you. So you do have to type in your uh, name and email and we'll email that PDF to you. It'll be a link uh, to a PDF and you can download that and print it off and get it for yourself. And if you need some oils to go in there, which I recommend, I think five or six different oils to keep on hand in that particular guide, please reach out to the person that shared this video with you, ask them for their silver club code if they have one. And um, if that person was me, reach out to me, I have a code as well for a it's a secret code for um, a free gift. So uh, definitely you can text me and I'll get you guys that. Um, I'll get you a, a customized link with just the first aid kit oils if you want. If you want to do it that way, just text me first aid uh, at that number 512-529-1733. Uh, that's a US number. So reach out to me. I'm happy to help you with that. If you don't have any doTERRA oils in your life yet. Um, Mahela says for high blood pressure in a dog, what oils can I use to control it under the medication now, but I want extra help with the oils because the meds don't seem to be helping. Okay. This is a, it's kind of a non-compliant question. So I might get in trouble for answering this one, but when it comes to blood pressure, what's happening is what you're wanting to do as far as oils go is open up that blood vessel. So the blood vessel is this tight we'll say. And, um, if it's this tight and your blood pressure is high, it means it's too tight. Okay. So basically it's really kind of simplifying this. So you want to kind of open up that blood vessel. You don't want it to get too tight. You don't want it to get tighter. Some oils will make it a little bit tighter. And so we don't want that because that'll make the blood pressure go up more. We want to open that up those vessels. Okay. And so we do have some oils that from a research standpoint, do this spikenard is one of them. Lavender, bergamot, very good for this. Um, ylang ylang is one of the top ones for this. I like to use that in combination with marjoram 
um, and Clary's age is another one. All of those actually open up those blood vessels and can help with uh, high blood pressure. Now, there are some oils, like I said, that tighten it up too. So we want to avoid oils like rosemary and peppermint, those oils that are uh, vasoconstrictive um, and can actually make things a little bit worse in that department. So just some safety stuff for you as well, since you have that going on with your animal. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for talking about that. Okay. Um, awesome, Mahela. I'm so glad you're on. Uh, Marty says, my cat sneezes repeatedly and has no other symptoms. Any ideas what's wrong with her? We say she's allergic to cats. <laughs> that is very funny. Um, she might have some dust allergies or something like that. Um, respiratory symptoms in cats can of often be viral as well. Um, so those are some potential things. You can actually give some lysine to her. You can get a, give a lysine supplement. can be really helpful to help just support her immune system. Other things that I like are the kids stronger blend. The kids stronger blend can really help with this and then diffusing respiratory support oils like cardamom or air X is an excellent option for these guys. Um, Kathy is asking about collapsing trachea. I have a great protocol in the membership, Kathy. So if you're in the membership, go over to the membership and look that up. If you're not in the membership, um, definitely check that out. It's uh, essentialoilvet.com slash members. So for really specific protocols for things like this, I really encourage you guys to go over there. It really helps for me to be able to do these free ones as well. Um, and you can just join for one month or you can join for six months or a year. It's up to you. Elaine says, which omegas would you use for a senior dog? There's a lot of really good omegas out there on the market. I like to use doTERRA's IQ Omega because it's liquid and it's very, very safe and it's easy to measure. And so you can just mix it in with the food. Um, and that is what I use for my dogs. All my dogs get it. So whether they're senior or not senior, omegas are excellent for brain health, for cardiovascular health, for which is the heart and the vessels. So that high blood pressure question we had earlier would be great for that. Um, it's good for the joints. It's good for the skin and the coat. It helps make them nice and shiny. So omegas are excellent, excellent for all of those things. Absolutely critical. Also for, um, for senior dogs for all those reasons as well. Amy's asking about a few fatty lumps on her dog that are getting bigger. And so we actually did a really good webinar on Thursday in the membership that has a really good case example of this. Um, I'll just say in general, frankincense and grapefruit are going to be your go-to for that. So um, that is what I'll do for that. If you're wanting more details, join the membership group. Um, Holly, my six-year-old cat hasn't urinated or defecated in almost 24 hours. She's still eating and drinking. When should I take her to the vet? Take her to the vet tomorrow morning. Absolutely. If she has not urinated or defecated, um, that is a lot. There's probably a, either she went outside maybe and hopefully and it did. And, um, but if she's acting otherwise normal, that's, then I wouldn't be super concerned, but if you know for sure she hasn't like, and she hit it somewhere, um, then I would definitely take her in first thing in the morning. Um, you can also use uh, that digest then the kids digest and touch or the kids tamer blend on her belly to see um, if that helps. Um, Janet says, I have a, I love your name, by the way. Um, I have a fearful nine month old. Um, she Chan 15 pounds uh, is in puppy training to help with socialization. Uh, want to know how to use oils and what oils to avoid. Janet, we have a really awesome safety webinar and a free safety guide. All of those are free that you can go check out. I would really recommend you taking the time to watch the webinar. I think it's about 35 to 40 minutes long and um, definitely worth your time for peace of mind and knowing what to do and things like that. So if you go over to essentialoilvet.com, slash safety webinar. Let's see if I can find the link to that one. There we go. Essentialoilvet.com slash safety webinar. Or if you just go to essentialoilvet.com on the main page on the banner there, 
we have the safety webinar available for you. It is totally free. Just click on it and it's on demand. So it'll start playing right away as soon as you enter your email. So, um, and you'll also get on my email list that way, but you can opt out at any time. Uh, we send out recipes and fun things like that and tell you what's going on. So um, definitely check that out. I think you're going to get a lot of peace of mind by watching that. And it is definitely worth your time. All right, with that, we're gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. There is a full moon tonight. So keep your dogs and cats inside and diffuse lots of calming oil <laughs> because it's gonna be a crazy night uh, two weeks before the big solar eclipse. So um, it's gonna be a little crazy these next two weeks. I'm sure I'm gonna be hearing from a lot of you. I'll probably try and post some excellent recipes that you can try. And I will see you guys not next week because it's Easter, uh, but I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye guys. <laughs>